Hi, it's Dan Kelly, president of the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. Well, I've been doing this for 26 years, working with and for small business owners, and I've never seen anything quite like this. I'm certain you haven't either. As we sort out the implications of COVID-19 for small and medium-sized firms, you're trying to sort out the details for your business, for your staff, for your customers, and for your own families. CFIB is here to help with all of that. Uh, our team of business counselors are taking dozens and dozens of calls from small business owners. A normal day for us at CFIB is 50 calls from members. We're now up over 600 per day and working really hard to get back to every single member individually to help them through this. We've created a website with tons of great information about how to deal with COVID-19 in your workplace. It has the most up-to-date information you'll find about all of the uh, essential services rules, which businesses can open, which ones have to close. Uh, we're providing all the information that you'll need about any of the relief efforts on the part of government, subsidy programs to help you get through this. Uh, we're doing that at the federal, provincial, and increasingly at the municipal level. Our team of business counselors is really working hard to get back to everybody individually. I've tripled the number of staff that are working on this area from 30 to 90, and I will add whatever resources we need to make sure that we can get back to each member individually. On top of that, of course, as you know, we're doing loads of surveys of our members and to try to study the implications of COVID-19 on their businesses. Uh, we are now doing our business barometer twice, uh, every two weeks. Uh, and every Friday, we're launching a special COVID survey to understand the implications and relay that information onto government that is desperate for information as to how this is affecting small firms and of course, jobs in the economy. Uh, our surveys have revealed a whole bunch of information about the dramatic drop in sales most small businesses have experienced over the last number of days. Uh, also, what relief efforts governments can do to try to help in, in, the, in the breach. Uh, we are lobbying very hard on all of these fronts too. Our major recommendation to government is to implement an immediate wage subsidy. Most of our members tell us their largest expenses are wages and then of course the cost of rent or real estate to keep their business open. Those are the two big things that they need help with right now. Right now, the federal government has offered a 10% wage subsidy for some of the smallest businesses, which is welcome, but it needs to be much more substantive. Countries around the world have implemented wage subsidies of 75% or more, and that is what we are asking the government of Canada to do. It is far better for go the government to provide you with relief so you can continue to pay your employees, rather than requiring every employer in the country to lay off loads of workers. That's also going to be what helps us get through the economic uh, recovery as quickly as the COVID problem leaves us. As soon as the emergency phase is over, if your employees are still connected to you as a business owner, they're going to be able to get back to work. The economy is going to be able to recover just that much more quickly. We're also looking to provincial governments to provide relief and, and on municipal governments to provide relief on property taxes. If we can help small businesses keep their rent expenses down in, in, in this difficult period, more and more firms will be able to keep their doors open and be able to get back to full health as quickly as possible. Finally, I just want to say we have been through challenges before. Small business owners are optimistic by nature and we will get through this together. Thanks so much.